All right, Facebook family, I told you guys that I was gonna go live and putting on a man unit so that I can show you how easy it's done. So of course, the first thing you wanna do, as my wife always say, prepare your workstation. So what I'm doing is I'm getting everything that I need. You can see I already drew my line um, for my head, but I think I'm gonna erase this and put this line a little bit back here a little bit more rather than uh, front. So I'm going to try this again because I want it to look natural. So, <coughs> excuse me. So you see the difference in where I draw the second line than where I had the first line. It looks more natural. And this line is just my guide so that I know where to stop in the front. So I'm gonna leave that there. Like I said, you wanna make sure that you wash your hair so you can get all of the debris, dirt, and anything out that will prevent your hair um, from the hair from sticking to your head. So I'm gonna use some ghost bond and I'm gonna put that on my head because that's what's gonna hold the hair on my head. I have this wig here. And as you can see how nice the texture of this hair is, but I'm not going to use this wig um, as to put on my head. It's not going to be like this. But I'm going to cut some of the hair off this wig and I'm going to use it to make my own unit. So let's get started. So here's my ghost bond. So I'm going to put this all around my head. And if you notice that I'm gonna put this on my head where it's bald at, where their hair, where there's hair, I'm not even gonna put any glue on that part because I wanna use that hair as my natural hair to blend in with the hair that's coming from the wig. So, so you wanna just go ahead and put this on here. And you know, they say let it dry so you can get a good coat. Now, I've been wearing my hair bald for probably almost a year now. I have not put a man unit in my hair in almost a year, so this should be interesting. You know, they say once you learn a skill, you never forget it. So we will see. So I'm gonna put this all on my head. Notice I'm trying to stay within the area where I have no hair. So usually I have a little stick where I um, smooth this glue over my head. But since I don't have my stick, I'm going to use my comb. This is an extra comb. So I'm going to take this. Just push it back like that. Try to stay within that front line. And I'm going all the way back. Keep going back. Now I need some mirrors so that I can see the back of my head. So as I go back, I wanna make sure that I cover the part of my head where it's bald. If you see this area right here, you wanna make sure that you glue, put glue there so that um, when you're putting your hair in that it covers the area. So this is one of my shirts that I use when I'm doing my hair. So I'm going to take this glue and I'm going to go right around the ball spot. See that? So I'm putting it around there. It's going down here. Put some more of that glue. I'm going to take my comb again and I'm going to smooth this glue in. Put 
it's good that um, you have some barber skills because once you finish putting the hair in, you're going to have to blend it in. Um, most people that don't have those skills of barbering, they may be able to install the hair, but they won't be able to trim it up like it should be. So now that I got that glue all in my head, I'm just going to spread it out a little bit more and try to let it dry a little bit. Remember I said you want to keep your edges as much as possible. So if you have hair on the sides, try to keep that hair there because you want to try to make this all look natural. Once this glue is finished drying, it's going to be clear. It's going to be like a clear coat of glue. Oh my goodness. I've been doing this for about five years. And um, <clears throat> the whole time that I was going to work, I had the unit in my head. And people never even knew that it was a unit. They thought it was my hair all these years. But that's a good thing. That means that I did a good job. Because people should not know that it's a unit if it's done right. So I'm going to let this dry just a little bit. I don't want it to dry too much because I'm going to lay some hair right over top of it. I'm going to let you know what the secret is. Look, y'all think the girls got a secret. When they doing their hair, they ain't seen nothing yet. And I tell you what, when I finish with this, you're going to be able to go swimming, go to the sauna, do all the things that you want to do that you're used to doing. So I just applied my glue. Here comes the magic. So you see this wig right here? This is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to just cut. I'm cutting some of this wig off. I just want to get the curls. I don't need the whole wig because I'm going to style it the way I want. So I'm going to cut these curls off and watch what I do. You're going to say, wow, I didn't know that. So watch this. So you just take this hair and you just lay it on top of your head. So as I continue to cut the hair off of the wig, I should have um, started the timer when I started this so you guys can see how long it takes. This is the easy part. The hard part is the um, lining it and getting it um, blended. But like I said, this is the easy part. Just keep taking hair and put it in where you see empty spaces there. The first time that I got the man unit done, I was in Atlanta, Georgia. And um, my friend, my teacher, Michael Ray, he did my hair. And um, when he did it, I was watching him and I was taking videos because I want to learn how to do this. So as you can see, I got my hair covered. Most of my hair is covered, so I'm going to pack this hair down so that it will stay because <clears throat> even though my head is covered, I'm not going to use all of this hair. So basically, I can put the wig down, so I'm going to take a look in the back to make sure that the back, yep, the back looks good. So just take this hair and just keep patting it down. We are almost done already. So this is one of the quick units. This unit doesn't take 
two and three hours. So if you look at your head, you can still see some glue in certain places. So you want to kind of pat that hair down where you see glue at. Just to let you guys know that these units run about $1,500. So it's not cheap. But as I said before, if you want to feel confident about yourself, if that means adding some hair to your head, then do that. Because the women do it all the time. You're going to have to have enough confidence in yourself that whatever you like, it shouldn't matter what nobody else thinks. Now, I did grow my hair in on the sides for probably about a week. While that is drying, I'm going to clean up my area a little bit. Because I like to um, keep a nice and neat work area. Now, I know it probably looks a little funky now, but that's okay because, like I said, I'm going to trim all this up. So, I'm putting the pencil away because I don't need this anymore. That was my guide that I used. Okay. I'm going to keep my scissors because I'm going to need them again. Putting the top on my glue. Put the glue away. It's always good to clean up while you're working because... Then you won't have so much to do when you're finished. And uh, you know, the hardest part is keeping your work area clean. I know I do not like going to get my hair done <clears throat> in a dirty bottle shop. So now y'all know I got some gray in my head. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this gray. So I've done everything for the head. In fact, I could get rid of the rest of the wig. So as you see, this wig right here, this wig, you can have about one, two, three, probably four installations from this one wig. You have to remember that even though your head may look a certain size, the amount of hair on your head from a unit is really not a whole lot of hair, especially for men, because most of the time we just, you know, um, do a high type, you know, or something to the top. Now watch this. I'm going to start taking off loose hair. Still patting it down, taking off loose hair. Anything that's loose, you want to pull that off. If you notice, it's starting to form already. See that? And if it's not loose and it's not coming off, it's okay because I'm going to start trimming it anyway. And I'm looking at my timer. It says 13 minutes. So we've only been doing this for about 13 minutes. I'm patting this down. Now I'm going to start cutting and start trimming. You'd be surprised that um, when you're doing your hair, you want to save those extra little pieces because you're going to use those to like fill in areas. I like this ghost bond um, glue because I like the way that it looks after um, it dries on your head. It almost looks like it's natural because look at that. Look, it, it's shaping already. You see that? So I'm still taking hair off. But remember, if you see any glue spots, you want to kind of like rub it in a little bit because the glue is there and the hair will stick to the glue. All you have to do is just pat it down. Pat it down. So I always go with this style because it's easier and it's a fun style. You know, when you get a certain age, you want to make sure that you don't have a whole lot of long hair. But if that's your preference, then you can do that too. You can have the long hair. I'm still trimming. And sometimes I can put a part in my head because um, that's why I said you want to grow your size out because you want to have some kind of base there, you know, to um, 
in case you want to um, add a part. And so when you grow your hair out, it gives you that hair on the sides to where you can play with it and um, do different things. So I'm still trimming. As I'm trimming, I'm patting. See that? See all that right there? Just cut that off. The good thing about this hair is that when you go to sleep at night and you wake up, it's still gonna be the same. It doesn't change. And I know that's what a lot of guys worry about the morning after, you know, cause you can get this thing done and then you wake up in the morning, you're like, well, what am I gonna do to my hair? Cause your barber's not gonna be there when you wake up in the morning. So you want something that you can manage yourself. And that's what I usually like to do. When I get people's styles, I make sure that I give them something that they can manage at home and it's not overwhelming. Because if it's overwhelming, guys are not gonna do it. They don't like things that are difficult. They want something that is basic, that they can wear and look natural. I'm still trimming. You see how, see that hair on the side right there? See, that's why I grew that out because I wanted to make that blend in with the top and keep it all natural. Remember, I um, draw my line, and as you can see, I can see one of the lines, which is probably the second line. And the reason why I know it's the second line because I didn't put glue past that part of the line. So that means that that part um, <clears throat> is showing, which is okay because I didn't want my line to go past the first part. So when I push this hair back, you can see the line that I drew. You see that line there? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some more glue on that line. And when I put the glue on that line, <clears throat> this white chalk um, comes off. I mean, it's, it's not a permanent, so it comes off. So this is what I'm gonna do. Put some glue there along the white line. This ghost bond glue is something else. And you have to be careful. You see how that all got stuck? So I got to cut all this off. There. And so when I cut that off, you can still see my hairline. And um, of course, I'm going to put some more hair there. So I'm going to... I think what I want to do is I'm going to take the hair that's already on my head and bring it down. You see how I'm doing it? I'm just going to bring it down just like that and just pat it in. And when this glue dries, you won't even see the white glue because it is, um, when it dries, the, the glue turns into a clear base. So we're going to put all that down there and the glue is already there, so it's going to stick. This is probably one of the easiest units to do. And, and I like this one because I can do this quick, easy, and be gone. So I'm going there. <clears throat> Put some more glue up there in that corner. And then just bring this hair down. Make sure you remove some of that SS, SS, SS glue. <clears throat> so... Remember I told you you need to keep some of that extra hair because you never know when you're going to need it. So as you can see, I'm just adding that hair in. Adding that hair in. It doesn't matter how it looks now because remember, we're going to trim it. We're going to trim it and it's going to be okay. When I first saw this, I said, you know what? I'm going bald and I want some hair. And I didn't know about that. Um, there's a commercial that used to come on and it talked about um, hair, but I didn't believe it because I said, if that's true that that would grow your hair back, then everybody should have it. But... <clears throat> 
maybe it wasn't as true as they said it was. You know, commercials say a lot of things about products. And then when you get it, it may work for some people, but it don't work for me. And so I get a little frustrated. I said, because, you know, I'm buying this because I'm thinking that this is going to be the solution and the answer to my problems. We're on 20 minutes now. I hope to have this done within the next 10 minutes. So as I continue to pat down, remember I'm patting this hair down so that it can um, stick. Now I'm going to turn around back 